Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for blessing us with your word and the moments we have to share it. Lord, help us not to take such moments for granted. Help us to appreciate and, Lord, to really celebrate what your word is and how it's been handed down. And, Lord, the history behind interpretation. And, Lord, yes, things like sermons and studies may seem, well, dull and boring for for sometimes, but they are illuminating also, Lord, and they they help us be guided in the whole of our lives. And so, Lord, one, help us not take it for granted. And, Lord, help us to really see the value in the learning of your word. But also, Lord, help us appreciate the application of it, putting what we read in the Bible into practice in our own lives. And help us to help others with that. Lord, teach us that new way of learning that that renews our sense of spiritual connection to the whole of your church that reminds us to follow Christ's commands by loving and, and following the example of love that the Bible gives us. Lord, help us now as we reflect upon your word and the way it inspires and encourages us in the way we, we, we share the good news of your kingdom and bring healing into people's lives. And so, Lord, we ask this as we seek to care and honor you. In Christ we, we pray. Amen. And so, reading today from the prophet Jeremiah, Jeremiah 29, reading at verse 7. And seek the peace of the city, whither I have caused you to be carried away captives, and pray unto the Lord for it. For in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. Where did you end up today? Where are you planning on going, and what's the purpose of you being there? One of the things we often forget about what, where we are and what we're going through, especially when we feel trapped and frustrated, is that God has a reason for you being where you are. Consider having gone through an ordeal and having gone through it, the wisdom that you have. Consider the, the employment you've had where you had to work to have a good working relationship. And it can be exhausting and it can be trying and it can be difficult. But in the, in the end, where you are right now is a much stronger and healthy place, both in your working relationships, but also in your ability to bring things to an experience and, and, and a wise understanding into all sorts of circumstances. The call that's on those who are servants of God is to... to not always be either looking way behind you to how things were or way ahead to how we want things to be, but to be present in the moments we are given and in those moments to bring our celebration, our praise of God out into the open. Sometimes we do that by service and sometimes we do that by being uh, present for others. In, in other ways, just being there in the moment with them in whatever they're feeling and going through. Sometimes it's in our learning and Always, it's in the way we love and show compassion. That in all these things, we honor God. And having that desire to honor God and always seeking it and celebrating when we have it, that is the greatest sense of peace that we can have in life. And it is the greatest joy we can share with others. God bless and keep you. Amen.